like me shot shot from the bendigo and it was like so I, would, I was looking out and i knew cancer was happening and i knew i was in this crazy turmoil but it was like i, I didn't feel the sting of it like i thought i would because there would even be times that i would be like okay shouldn't i be like freaking out right now like shouldn't i be like more scared or nervous or asking more questions but the lord was seriously so ever present and so near and kind and gracious and steadfast that he shielded me from all of these flaming darts that were coming at me. And it was just the most beautiful thing to walk through with him. And so we finished six months and we um, did a scan. It looked like all the cancer was gone. We did two more blood tests to confirm that the cancer was gone. We celebrated. I got to ring the bell. I got my own bell. We had this big COVID outside party. Um, and we just celebrated and were super excited. And then um, I had a scan two weeks later and then found out shortly after the cancer had already come back. It had come back in the liver. And I, it was so much of a shock again that I felt like my body was just numb at that point. Uh, my emotions were just numb and I was just back to square one. And it was awful because you go home and you tell your children, God answered her prayers, and mommy's cancer is gone, and then you have to go back and say, well, it's back, but God is still answering her prayers, and it's like, how do you deal with that? I mean, I didn't read a book on how to deal with these hard questions when I was just raising three kids. I was learning how to sleep train and how to nurse and how to just survive, like motherhood. I wasn't trying to figure out how to have these hard conversations. And how to prepare my marriage for such fire and trial and suffering. And so I was very fortunate and very blessed that by God's grace, um, I spent a lot of time understanding what suffering, what God's word says suffering is, and how to suffer well according to Christ and his word. And spent a lot of time memorizing scripture. Um, before cancer hit. And a lot of the times in Bible study, we would have subjects on suffering, and I would just kind of be like, well, I'm not really going through that, you know? But I would still study it to kind of help someone else walk through it. And I'm so glad, I'm so forever grateful that I did that, because I never would imagine I would ever have gone through this. And so I'm so thankful God equipped me, um, prepared me for this. Uh, and so we are currently going through chemo right now, but uh, it's just through my pump, and it's not as aggressive chemo, so I definitely feel way better. Um, I've been off the hard stuff for a long time, and uh, we just did two more scans, and everything looked great. Um, so as currently, we are waiting on one more blood test, and that will reveal uh, if there's any microscopic cells running around. But as of right now, the scan shows that there's no cancer in my body. So how would you encourage us to believe that God really does hear us when we pray and he really does respond to us when we pray? Yes. Oh, man. I think the best question to go with that question is something I asked before Bible studies, if I'm leading or in one, and just in my own prayer life is start from this like baseline. It's like, okay, Raina, what is your standard of right? What is your standard?